video lecture for lesson 121 piecewise functions greatest inter integer functions so a piecewise function is one that it's not necessarily a continuous function it might be like this is a horizontal line between 0 when x is 0 and 1 but then it changes you know it has a different equation of the line between when x is between 1 and 3 and then it has this horizontal line when x is greater than 3 the arrow tells me it keeps on going um, you can read all this but basically it's when you kind of um, have a different function for different values of x then you have a piecewise function so the notation for the piecewise functions are they'll give you a little equation you know sometimes it can be a like in this book we're just going to have linear equations but it could be you know a quadratic or some other conic section equation but a lot of times you just see linear so the equation is y equals negative 1 if x is in between 0 and 1 and then see these are just y equals mx plus b's so it's just like it changes um, depending on where you are on your x-axis Okay, and they use this little um, notation right here, and they'll say if x is whatever. Okay, so you can read all this. Uh, we fill in the dots for when we have um, the equal sign under there, we'll have a filled in dot, but when we have just an inequality that's less than or greater than, we'll have a open circle. If the graph continues toward infinity or negative infinity, we put an arrow on it. Okay, This is the greatest integer function, or a, uh, it's called a step function sometimes. So it has a special notation. It has these little, they look like little matrix bars around it. And so, and there's, I've actually seen different notations where they'll have, I think it was like, this for the greatest integer you know they won't have it on the bottom but then for the, they had another one like this I've seen that before you're not gonna deal with that um, in this book but you're just gonna have this means the greatest integer function for which the notation has been devised it okay the value of the function it's the value of the function of the greatest integer less than or equal to the value of x. So this is the parent function, um, f of x or y equals greatest integer of x. Okay, that's the parent function. So you can do stuff to it. You can do some uh, transformations on it. Like if I added a 3 to it, then I would just take this and shift it up by three um, you could put numbers on the inside and and do some horizontal translations as well I don't think we're gonna see those this year oh wait yeah we are there's one there's one down there so that so that would be actually shifted to the right because X minus H right okay so I'm gonna do some problems so we're gonna do a hundred uh, 21 number 6 so it gave me this nice notation um, this is just a y equals mx plus b the b is 0 okay and there's another y equals mx plus b so I'm gonna draw so this line is gonna rule the function for values of x that are less than or equal to 4 so what I'm gonna do is there's my 4 so when x is less than or equal to 4, that's supposed to look straight. I didn't use a straight edge on it. When, when it's less than 4 or equal to 4, I have negative 1 half x plus 0. So there's my, so I go down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2. That's my, um, that's just the line of negative 1 half x. Okay, but then I stop that right at the 4 and I am going to fill it in because of this equal sign thing and then I'm going to start a new y equals mx plus b 
um, in between four and ten. Okay, so so I it was hard for me not not to just draw the whole line. My eraser this isn't a good eraser. It's one of those old ones that smears. Um, but sometimes I'll just draw the whole line and then I'll erase the part to the left of four. Um, but basically, if it's y equals x minus seven, it would start here and go up one, up one over one, up one over one, up one over one. So to, it ends up here, up one over one, up one over one. If you do it on graph paper, it'll be even better. And you just draw that until you hit the ten, and then you got an open circle because there's no equal sign under there. And that's your graph. This should look straight. It's it's a line. Um, I put an arrow on the end of this one because it said just when x is less than four. Okay, so let's do the next problem. The next problem is number eight. So this is the greatest integer function, but they want it shifted up by three. So remember how the greatest inter integer function, it starts usually right here and goes to the right? Well, I took that one that usually starts right here and just moved it up by three. Then I made the next one, then I made the next one. But then I realized that looked kind of weird because I know there's stuff, stuff down here. So then I started going to the left also. Right, and to the left. I can make another one if I want right here. Like that. Okay, so it, it should look just like in your book. Let's look at the one in your book. It should look just like that, but this this part right here would be up here. And so that's, see? The one that's usually right there got shifted up by three. And so that's the answer to number eight.